asset. So what we have done here is we've done, oh, we've done or, oh, that's wrong, ignore that. This represents, I suppose, the relation or after or, where or is this or after we've done that or, okay? That's a little bit uh, convoluted there, but I hope you understand what I'm what I'm trying to what I'm trying to get across. Okay, now so let's construct the relation. We've done it through a graph, but let's do it as a set. The relation or after or, so or after or, okay, or after or is equal to the set that contains all the ordered pairs uh, that have a source here and have a destination over here. In other words, it's all the paths from here that go directly through to here. Okay. So let's try to follow them. So we have 2 goes to 4 goes to 7. So I can go directly from 2 into 7. So I can go from 2 to 7. Okay. Uh, 2 goes to 7, but I can't go from 7 over to here. So there's no ordered pair that takes me from 2 into this particular range over here. What about 4? 4 goes to 7, but once again I can't get across, so there's no other ordered pair. So the only ordered pair that takes me from here directly across to here, okay, is the ordered pair 2, 7. And I suppose what you can see is that or after or, okay, is actually a subset of, of I should say, or 1, after or 1, okay, uh, is a subset okay, of our original relation. So it is a subset of R1, okay? So based on the theorem, the theorem says that a relation R on a set A is transitive if and only if its composition with itself is a subset of itself, okay? And what we've shown here is that the composition, which contains the ordered pair 2, 7, is in fact a subset of the original relation. So yes, R1 is transitive, okay? So let's try to break this. So we know that the test works when we have a transitive relation, which we already knew was transitive because we inspected its digraph. But let's consider another relation uh, on the set, another relation on the set A. So another subset taken from the Cartesian product or the cross product. So let us consider the relation or, let's consider the relation or two, uh, that's equal to the set that contains the ordered pairs two, four, and four, seven. Okay, and uh, let's construct its digraph. So we have a digraph for this relation. Okay, uh, the digraph is always has the nodes that this, the relation was built on. So we have two, four, seven, and nine. And let's put in all the directed edges. So two is taken to four. There we go. And four is taken to seven. Yep. So that's the digraph for that relation. Is this relation transitive? No, it's not because I can make a double hop from 2 to 4 and from 4 to 7, but I can't go from my source into my final destination. So this is not transitive. Okay, so we know it's not transitive, but let's try to prove it's not transitive by considering the theorem, which says that a relation or on a set A is transitive if and only if its composition is a subset of itself. Okay, so let's build the composition. So once again, we're going to try to build, we're going to build R2 after R2. Now, the domain and range for R2 is the values 2, 4, 7, and 9. And the range is 2, 4, 7, and 9. So let's do R2 after we do R2. So let's do this R2 first, which takes 2 to 4. There we go. And it takes 4 to 7. There we go. So that's this R2 constructed. Now let's construct this R2 or the graph for this R2. Uh, we know that it must be mapped from 2, 4, 7, and 9 into 2, 4, 7, and 9. Okay, so this R2 now takes 2 to 4. There we go. And it takes 4 to 7. There we are. Okay, so this is R2. So this is the graph that represents R2 after R2. Okay. Let's represent this in as a set. So as a set, we have the composition of R2 with itself, or R2 after R2. It contains the ordered pairs. Well, what paths have I got from here, from my source to my final destination? 
the only part that I have true is from 2 into 4 map to 7 so we have 2 goes to 4 goes to 7 so I can go directly from 2 to 7 so what we have is the ordered pair 2 7 and there's no other paths from here across so R2 after R2 is simply the ordered pair or is a set that contains the ordered pair 2 7 okay what we can actually clearly see is that R2 after R2 is not a subset of R2 because for it to be a subset of R2 everything inside here would have to be contained inside R2 and we have one particular example here one reason why this is not a subset because 2 7 is not contained over here so we know that this or that the composition is not a subset of itself okay or the composition of R2 with R2 is not a subset of R2 so from our theorem which says that a relation or on a set a is transitive if and only if or after or is a subset of or we now know well we know that or after or is not a subset of or so it's not transitive yeah so this relation is not transitive now I find this particular test the test uh, let me write it down here the test okay of transitivity Okay. where we compose our relations okay. okay now if that's true it's transitive if that's false it's not transitive I find that this is a quicker way to test for transitivity and that's why I've called this a quick test for testing transitivity of a relation okay guys uh, thanks for your time and I hope that particular video uh, demystified, uh, first of all, the concept of transitivity of a relation, but also gave you a quick way to test for the transitivity of a relation. Okay, guys, okay, guys thanks for your time. Uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland.